The government's plan to give away last year's tax revenue surplus has become increasingly bewildering. Initially, a government source had said that low-income workers would receive 10,000 NT each. A few days later, the cabinet retreated on the plan, saying the money might go to young couples or epidemic prevention instead. The news was soon followed by the president announcing that low-income workers would get a tax break in May. Today, a lawmaker added more fodder for confusion. According to KMT legislator Zen Mingzong, the government had misrepresented the source of the money it was trying to give away. KMT lawmaker Zen Mingzong pulled out the old budget records today. He says the government lied when it said it had 38.6 billion NT in extra tax revenue from last year. He says that in reality, a big fraction of that surplus dates all the way back to 1950. I do not know why this surplus has gone untouched for so many years by previous administrations. Now the Tsai administration wants to bring it out and put it to use right before the elections. For days now, the government's cash gift program has been engulfed in a maelstrom of contradiction and confusion. After the government pulled the plug on its original policy, those workers earning less than 30,000 NT a month, those who had been looking forward to the gift, began to criticize the government. In any case, the implementation of this policy would of course also cause dissatisfaction among the people who earn over 30,000 NT a month. When implementing a policy, you have to consider the feelings of the people. I think that the government's hand-fisted decision-making shines through in this incident. Right now, it is hard for me to tell. Does the cabinet still exist? Is the premier still around? Or is the president in charge? As the complaints keep coming, the government is struggling to produce a satisfactory policy. In the end, this big cash giveaway could create more strife than joy.